Good afternoon, welcome to Yoga with Katie. And today we're going to do a practice where we energize the body, a full body workout, a flow class. So we're going to start with sitting up nice and tall here. Just close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breaths. As always, listen to your body. Slowly come out of it. And, and if you have any shoes or injury, just be more mindful. Do a vacation of the pose or not doing it at all. A couple more breath here, and we're going to slowly open up our eyes. Inhale, your arms up. Turn the palm up. Exhale, down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We have a one breath. One more inhale. Exhale. And we're going to follow with alternate nostril breathing. So we're going to hold up our hand, thumb, and four fingers. So we're going to have the thumb on one side of the nostril. We're going to take a deep, deep inhale. Feel your lungs, and we're gonna hold it on both sides. Hold it for one count, and letting out the other nostril. So when you're ready, we're gonna begin. Deep, deep inhale through one side of your nostril. Fill up your lungs. Hold it here by closing it on both sides. Take one count here, and then release on the other side. So we're gonna repeat this a few more times. So deep, deep inhale through this side of the nostril, feel your lungs, hold it here on both sides for one count and then let it out the other nostril. Empty your lungs. And we're gonna go and repeat again, deep, deep inhale from this nostril, feel your lungs. Hold it here for both sides and then let it out the other nostril. One last time. Deep, deep inhale through this side of the nostril. Hold it here for one count for both sides and then we're going to let it out the other nostril. Slowly, slowly release. Come back to a comfortable seated position. Stretching out the shoulder next, inhale, right arm up, bring it across your chest, supported by the other hand, pull back, shoulder stretch, taking a few breaths here, chin is way far from the body, looking forward. One more breath, and then slowly release, inhale, the same arm up, lengthen, place the palm behind your back, and use the other hand to guard the elbow. Try some stretch, chin up, looking forward. Those who can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind the hands behind you. Just be mindful for people who have shoulder issues. Slowly release, shake it out the other side, arm up and across, shoulder stretch first. Taking a few breaths, chin is way from the body, looking forward. One of the greatest cases I have. And I have ads coming in again, so I'm going to stop the ad. Slowly release, say mama, name them first, place the palm behind your back and use the other hand to go down. Try some stretch, chin up, looking forward. Slowly release, shake it up, hands on the shoulders, opposite, opposite. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pain to your shoulder blades, opening up the lung heart chest. Helping people with breathing related issues. One more time. When you're in the center position, go in a full circle. Try to bring the elbows in, oiling the shoulder joints. Heavy breaths. Slowly 
really slowly release, shake it out. Right hand down, left arm up, reach and stretch. Lengthening the side of your body, chin is away from the body, and feet up. We go to the other side, reach and stretch, lengthening, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, opposite hand, opposite knee, the other arm over, over, bringing the right knee behind your spine. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning your neck to swap. Taking your breath. One more breath. We slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale, the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Coming into a gentle stretch. And slowly release. Looking on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring the head directly behind your spine and wrap around your waist. Coming into a gentle twist. Using your exhale breath to turn a little bit more. Turning the neck as well. One more breath. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming the crescent, looking up. Slowly release, hands on thighs, come into your toss of turn. So starting on a small circle, gradually go deeper and deeper toss of turn. Moving your shoulders as well, warming up the spine. One more round. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse. Touching our four corner of your space. Así que quieres aprender inglés. Aquí tienes tres mitos que son completamente falsos. Uno, debes. So it doesn't look like I can use this track on music because ads keep popping up. Now we are slowly coming back to center. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat. Shoulders relax, forehead down, lengthening the spine, taking up your breath here. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly walking the hands back and let's come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, hands underneath your shoulders, knees slightly behind the hip, top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. We're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, draw your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cow. So we're going to do it a few times. Combine your breath with your movement, creating spaces between vertebrates, warming up the spine. Can a cow also help people to relieve back pain? One last one. Slowly, slowly turn back to neutral spine, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. And we're going to come to a bird dog, arm balance, right arm and left leg up. Right thumb to the sky, back toes down, reach and stretch, core strong, looking down. Staying here for three, two, one, if you need to release, release, otherwise we're going to turn and grab a hold backwards, lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. Slowly release and repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg up, reach and stretch, lengthening, core strong, looking down, staying here for three, two, one, if you need to release, release, otherwise we're turning and grab a hold of back foot, lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. So don't worry about the back leg, if you find it challenging to balance, and we're going to slowly, slowly release, from side to side, coming to front the needle, inhale the right arm up, exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be in front of you or wrapped around your waist. The beginning, you can stay here. 
Those who wish to put more body weight on the shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Just don't worry about the back leg. If you find it is challenging, you can balance. And we're just gonna stay here for a couple of breaths. And one more breath. We're gonna slowly, slowly release, pushing yourself back up. And repeat on the other side. Inhale the left arm. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Now, beginning, you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the shoulder, extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat or any variation you like. If anyone who has any shoulder issues, just be mindful. You can slowly come out of this. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Take your time. Using your right hand to push yourself up. You need to garden pose, squatting if you need to get up first before you squat back down. Go ahead, toes up, lean out. Walk the heels down, bring your hands to heart center. You are able to push the thigh out, keeping your neck and your spine aligned. Be mindful of anyone who has any knee issues here. Hip opener. One more breath, and we're gonna get ready to come up. Keep pressing firmly in your palms, and we're gonna slowly rise up to standing. Once you've come all the way up, we're gonna go into goddess. So starting to feel a little bit wider, toes up, coordinated out, hands up by your chest. We're gonna inhale first, exhale, sink. Up and down, not forward, backwards. Slightly tuck the tables in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Every time you come down, see if you can come a little bit lower. Let's do another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly coming back up. I'm down by your side. Heel toe, heel toe to bring the legs together. Shake it out. And we're going to go into a forward bend. All our ten toes facing in front, legs are hip width. Hands on weights for support. Inhale first, exhale, pitch. Leading with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, release the hands down. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Head bones above ankle bones. Slightly bend the knees if needed. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Lengthening the Spine, stretch your hamstrings, let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so if you don't feel good about this, we need to slowly come out of it. One more breath here. And we're get ready to come up. Hands on weights for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly come up to standing. Let your breath pressure get used to this. Once you've come all the way up, back bend to counter, interlace the finger behind, knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half back, not pushing the hips forward. Feel the pinch of your shoulder blades, opening up the lung, heart, chest, stimulating thyroid gland. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming into a crescent move. Our tento is facing in front. Legs are hip width. Inhale, arms up, palm touch. Release in. Index finger grow tall. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Coming into a side bend. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale to the other side. Once again, shoulders and hips are level, not pushing one hip forward or back. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right, release the bottom arm. Top arm is the crescent move. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Looking up. We're going to slowly bring the bottom arm back up. Lengthen first. 
Exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crescent moon. Side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up. And then I'm down by your side. Shake it out. Getting ready for cardio. We're going to go into a sun salutation. Top of your mat, big toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always, whether you're a new or regular yoga practitioner. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to the flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, stepping back into your plank. Shifting the way forward, wrists underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the heels. Beginnings can drop to your knees, tag the elbow by your side, and then down. Inhale, cobra is modification or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We stay here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Meta index finger facing forward. Separate your feet. Two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating bending your knees. Release the head down. Eyes are looking at your toes, knees are belly button. One more breath. Look between your hands. Step a hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to a flat bar. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, come back up to standing. Back bend, and then I'm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Tall and strong in mountain, we're gonna keep going. Inhale, your arms up, elbows a lift. Back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat bar. Exhale, hands on us, step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Turn is on one breath. Uh, was lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, to the end up. Take your time to sit up, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation, eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. If you need knee support, use your knee pad, towels, cushion, or double up your mat for support. Front knee is on top of the ankle, 90 degrees. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders are relaxed down from the ears. Engage your arms. Eyes looking up. So we're not tipping the head back. One more breath here. Place the palm together. Release index finger. We're going to inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend. Looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath, and I'm going to slowly, slowly release, stabilize yourself, left arm forward, right arm back, turn a little bit back. One more breath here, and we're going to pull the brain about the back to the center, left hand down, right arm up. Open up the hands, look at the top thumb. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking away right foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toes out of the foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the right hip more. So listen to your body. Those who can come down on the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. Make sure you're not dropping the head back, neck and spine in one straight line always. 
the stretches in the right hip flexor. One more breath here. We're gonna slowly, slowly release, pushing yourself back up. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. So we're gonna turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thighs. Those who can come up on the back toes, go ahead, lifting the heel high, high up. And if you want to open up the arms for more resistance, go ahead. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Hands on mats. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. You can either sit on your heel or come sit down. I'll do modification on this side. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up, lengthen first. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the left foot or toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Right hamstring, left ankle joint, if you're sitting on the ankle. So we're not dropping the head. Make sure the neck and the spine are in one straight line. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. We're going to switch side. We'll do a flow here. Hands on mat. Tuck the back toes and step away. Coming forward to plank, lower down, control movement. Inhale, cobra up. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, higher. Coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away, shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on the wrist. Feel free to walk the dog out or slightly bend the knees if you have tight hamstrings. Low lunge on the end side. Left foot forward towards the left hand. If you cannot step such a big step, use the left hand to guide. Knee on top of ankle, 90 degrees between second and third toe. Don't walk away in or walk out. When you're ready, arms up, holding on to your bum. Palm facing each other. Cranky slightly curving. Engage your arms. Shoulders relaxed down from the ears. Eyes looking up. One more breath here, place the hand together, release in that finger, we're gonna to inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Right arm full, left arm back. Turn and look at the back. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Right hand down, left arm up. Reach and stretch. Looking up. One more breath. I'm going to slowly release the top hand. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Coming into a little bit of dragon, so feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side. Those who can come down for arms and up on the back toes, go ahead now. We're not dropping the head down. Neck and spine in one straight line. If this is too much for you, please push yourself back up to the hand level. So listen to your body always to avoid injury. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. And we're going to get ready for the twist. So turn the body to the left side. Right elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. 
stomach not resting on the thigh. So feel free to open up the arms for more resistance or coming up on the back toes. So let's inhale high, high up. One more breath, slowly release, hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. You can either sit on your heel or come sit down. If you're not able to sit on the heel, just sit down. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up with lengthen first. Exhale, hinging from the hips, leading of the chest, holding on to any part of the left foot and toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck and spine in one straight line, so we're not cropping the head. If you have tight hamstring, we're going to slightly bend the knee. One more breath here. We're going to slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. Hands on mat. Tuck the right toes and step them up like that. Shift your way forward to plank. Lower down. Control movement. Elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale. Cobra or up dog. If you like, and press it on top of the feet. Kneecaps come off. Exhale. Tuck your toes. Lift the hips high up. Coming into a down dog. Pushing the mat away. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize the impact on the wrist. Coming into high lunge on the right side. Inhale. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Left foot at 45. Heel to heel or heel to arch. Evenly distribute the weight. Square the hip to front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Engage your arms. Shoulders relax down from the heel. Holding onto your ball. Eyes looking up. One more breath here, and we're going to go into run this launch. So we're going to come up on the back toes, roll the shoulder back, arms parallel to the floor, palm facing down, thumb to sky, pinky to earth. One straight line from the crown of your head to the back here. Strong arm, strong core, work the thighs. Looking at a focal point, three to four feet in front of you. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly, slowly release the back foot, going into humble warrior. Interlace the finger behind, knuckles down and away from you, lifting chin up and head back. We're going to bow down to this face by the front knee. Lifting your arms up to your compass soul. We release the head down towards the mat. Front knee is still 90 degree on top of the ankle, back leg is straight, head is below heart. Right shoulder on right thigh. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you start feeling busy or not well, you need to slowly come out of this. One more breath. I'm going to release the hands. Windmill the hands back down the mat. Tuck the back toes and step the right leg back. Shifting your way forward to plank. Anytime you need modification, just drop to your knees. Don't drop down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Anybody who needs to take a break doing down dog, just come down on your knees, go into child pose. Take a break, enjoy this when you can. And we'll repeat high lunge on the left side. So left foot forward towards the left hand. Right foot at 45. Heel to heel or heel to arch. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball, palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in, engage your arms, shoulders relax down from your ears, evenly distribute the weight, engage your core abdominal muscles. One more breath, and we're going to go into runner's lunge. So we're going to lift the heel high up on the back foot, roll the shoulder back, arms by your side, palm facing down, thumb to sky, pinky to earth if you like. Looking at a point three to four feet in front of you. 
one straight line from the crown of your head to the back knee. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come up to release. Lower the back foot. Going to humble warrior. Interlace the finger behind. Now close down and away from you. Left thing, chin on the head back. We're going to bow down to this space by the front. Lifting your arms up towards your compass zone. Release the head down towards the mat. Front knee is still 90 degree. Back leg is straight. Head is below heart. Left shoulder on left thigh. Once again, be mindful that the head is still hot. If you don't feel well, if you start feeling dizzy, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath here, and we're going to release the hands. We're going to the hands back down the mat, and we're going to step back into a plank, shifting the way forward, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Lifting the hips high, higher, walking it out and release the head down. Coming into pigeon legs, left foot down, right leg up. Three leg the split. Now we're going to bend into the back leg, look down underneath the right armpit for a twist, and we're going to sway the back leg all the way to the top of the mat, right knee to right wrist. Flex in your foot to protect your knee. Slide back leg up. Back leg is straight and is in the center. Bottom of the foot towards the sky. Make sure the ankle doesn't fall one way or the other. Less flexible people, smaller angle, more flexible people, bigger angle. Spring the hip to the front. Slowly come down. Forehead on stack hands, stack fist. Come on your block, your choice. Stretch is here, right hip flexor. If you come lopsided, try to pop yourself back to the center. And you may continue to wiggle side to side, finding juicy position to settle in. If anybody who find that this version of pigeon challenging, please slide down your back and going into a figure four. That's the modification. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up and we're going to swing the back leg all the way around. Coming into a seated twist. Now, if you can bend both legs, go ahead. Those who cannot do that, straighten out the right leg. So, I'll demonstrate modification on this side. Point your right toes up to the ceiling. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Go close to you. Sit up top. Left arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine or wrap it around your waist. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands. Let the front hand through the tunnel, any variation you like. Don't need that too much. Overlooking your shoulder. Looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Massaging internal limbs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, come to twist, bending out. Let's give you more room to come down. Stretch your lower back, oblique, the back and the side of your body. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. We're going to swing this one leg back. We're going to do a flow. We'll repeat pigeon on the other side. So meet you in down dog. Lifting the hips high, high up. Pushing the mat away. Walking the dog out. Upside down, let it be. Release any tension you may have, and we're going to repeat pigeon on the other side. So, right foot down, left leg up. Three leg the split. And then the back leg. Look underneath the left armpit for a twist, and we're going to swing the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Slide the back leg out. Back leg is straight and it's in the center. Bottom of your foot towards the sky. Make sure your ankle doesn't fall one way or the other, squaring the hip to the front. And we're going to slowly come down, forehead on stack hands, stack fist, on your block, or all the way down. With the side to side, it stretches here, left hip flexor.
And once again, if anyone who finds that this version of pigeon challenging, please lie down on your back, going into a figure four, same stretch, but modified. One more breath here, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release, pushing yourself back up. And we'll meet you in down dog again, tap the back toes and step the left leg back up. Like what we're supposed to do the twist up. So we're gonna swing the back leg all the way around. So come sit down, both let's stand both feet on the ground. If this push or pick a uh, seated twist is difficult, straighten out the bottom leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you, sit up tall. The other arm on the go for bring the right knee behind the spine or wrap around your waist. If your leg is good, turn to look at the back. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, but the front hand through the tunnel, any variation you like to challenge yourself. Massage your internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending elbows give you more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique. One more breath here. And we're going to slowly, slowly release, pushing yourself back. We're going to unravel ourselves, so we're going to swing the front leg back, meet your down dog again, spread your finger, stepping back into a down dog, walking it up, out, release any tension you may have. Then we slowly come forward, drop to your knees, going into back extension, take a hip width apart, pop the feet on the mat, forehead down, hands by your chest. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, hands off, kneecaps up, looking down to protect your neck. We're going to stay here for five, three, two, one. Slowly and gently release everything down. And we'll slowly, slowly push ourselves back up. Now we're going to go into cobra. Or up dog. So we'll stay in this cobra for a moment. Take an inhale first, exhale, turn over the right shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, come back to center, and we're going to push ourselves up some more, coming into a seal. Legs are apart, shoulders relaxed down from the ears, eyes looking forward. If this is too much for you, please stay down on your forearms. Staying here for five, three, two, one. Slowly and gently release everything down. And we will come to a locust. So we're going to swing down behind our back. If you can interlace the finger, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm um, by your side, not touching your body. That would be the modification. Lifting the hand chest up, knuckles towards the heels. Leg and thigh off if you can. Looking down. Staying here for five. Three. Two. One. Slowly and gently release everything down. Now from here, we're going to push ourselves back out into a child pose to counter. Knees apart, big toes to touch. Same the hip down onto the heels. Lower the hip down. If you're not able to sit on your heel, you can rest your forehead on stacked hands or stacked fists on your block. A little bit higher, but try to sit back as much as we can. We're stretching out the ankle joint, hip joint. Lengthening the spine, massaging internal organs, calming your mind for a moment. Wow. 
one more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly coming back up and we're gonna come to seated. So take a sip of water if needed. Straighten out the legs, pass it a few times. Bring it to the stock pose, sitting up nice and tall. Hands by your side, point your toes up to the ceiling. Shoulders relax down, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. You're gonna point and flex the feet a few times. Ankle exercise, stretching our hamstring, pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation. Always sit up tall, inhale, arms up lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna hinge forward, leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Not dropping the head down, rounding the back or become a hunchback. Just want to lengthen the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, hamstring, a little bit on the hip joint. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Working with your breath always to get into the alignment. One more breath here. And we're gonna slowly, slowly coming back up. Coming into one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up into Exhale, shift forward. Go longer, holding on to any part of it for the toe. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring the stomach a little bit closer. Then the chest, head is elastic. Feel free to use your yoga strap, not to yank yourself down, but to have better posture, better alignment. One more breath here. We're gonna slowly, slowly come back up, and we're gonna repeat on the other side. One leg forward, bend, set yourself up, get the flesh part out from your butt, point your toes up to the ceiling, inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, now we're gonna shift forward. Engine from the hips, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. So, very soon your hands will be beyond your foot. So, you can hold on to any part of the foot, legs. So, release the hands on either side or use your yoga strap. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. So, I'm come down a little bit more. Then the chest has this the last thing. So, don't worry about dropping the head back because that's not the objective. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, and string a little bit on the hip joint. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly coming back up, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. And now we're going to come to the boat pose. So get the flesh part out from your butt. Bend both knees, hands underneath the kneecap. When you're ready, come up on your tippy toes and lift your feet off the ground. Don't lean back too much. Your first one can be supported. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly release. Come down. Cut your breath. And another breath. When you're ready, get yourself set up. Get the pressure part out. Hands underneath the kneecap. You can lift your feet off the ground. Support it this way or this way. Those who are ready for the next level, let go. Don't lean back too much. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Slowly release. Come down. Catch your breath. And one last round to go. Set yourself up. Bend your knees. Come up on your tippy toes. Left arm. Let can continue to hold on this way, this way, let go, or we can both the boats for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly release, come down, get your breath, balance it out. I'm going to transition to lie down on our mat. And we're going to go into reclining poses. So take your time to lie down. Have water before you lie down.
Then both knees to your spine will automatically release, keeping a natural curve in your lower back. And then on your side, palm facing down. Slightly tuck your chin in to protect your neck. Close your eyes for a moment. Let your body get used to lying on its back. I will press firmly on the mat. Use your abdominal muscles to bring both legs up. With control, we're not swinging the leg up and down. Hands behind the knee, cleft, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your front. Stretching our hamstrings, helping you with circulation. Slide in, throw the, the leg and grab hold the big toes, lifting the head chest up. Bending the elbows towards the side of the room. Tailbone automatically comes off. Continue to stretch hamstrings. One more breath, we're going to slowly release the head down and down by your side. Doing three rounds of leg lift with control. First round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it when your legs are one feet off the ground. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Catch your breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three. Two, don't drop it, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up, take a breath here, last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, all the way down, bounce a few times. Come to a bridge pose, bend both knees, knees are two fists apart, the equivalent to what the width of the block, walk the heel, close your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. When you're ready, we're going to take an inhale to lift the hips higher. Coming a bridge. If you have a block, feel free to place the block between your thighs. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Four to seven in glutes. In another word, squeeze your stomach in tight. Engage your stomach muscles. Your thighs and your butt are firm. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. You're going to roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers, pull the knuckles towards the heels. Keeping your hips high, high up. All the weights in the shoulder, grab a little weight in the head and neck. Chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid band as well. One more breath. We're going to release the hands from underneath your bridge. One more breath at a time. Release the spine back down on your mat. And you can release the block. Push your right foot, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees will necessarily have to touch the mat. Slowly come back to center. Coming into the fish pose. So we're going to lift the hips off the ground. Slide the head underneath your butt. Thumbs to touch. Straighten up the legs. Point your toes. Inhale to lift yourself up to the forearm. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. So you can stay here. Those who can drop the head down. The crown your head on the mat. Lifting the chest high, high up. Opening up the lung, heart, chest, helping people with breathing-related issues like asthma. 
If you're not comfortable to place the crown of the head down, no problem, and you can just stay up on your forearms. One more breath to come out of this. We're going to press firmly into your mat. Come up on your forearms and release the upper body back down. Lift your hips up so you can slide the hand back up from underneath. Release the spine down. Straighten out the legs. Bounce a few times. Coming into your wing, releasing on the right side. Grab your arms around the right knee. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. We're going to inhale to relax the grip, exhale to squeeze. Massage your organs on the right side as well as ascending the over. Massage your organs on the right side. Be gentle with yourself. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. Slowly come back to center, and now we're going to go into a half heavy baby, bending the right knee, right hand on the bottom of the right foot, press down so that the knee is close to the armpit. Side. And from here, we're going to go into a spiny twist. So, right foot on that thigh, using the left hand. So, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly bring the top knee closer to the floor. Right arm on shoulder height. Both shoulders are still on the mat. Turn and look at the right side of your neck is good. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. Hips automatically come off. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the low back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the body back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce a few times. And repeat, wind release it on the left side. Grab your arms around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massage your arms on the left side as well as descending prone. Be gentle with yourself. Right toes are facing the ceiling, so both legs are engaged. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion. Massaging the left hip joint. And reverse. Slowly come back to center, lifting the left foot up, twist the ceiling, coming into a half heavy baby, bend the left knee, left hand on the bottom of the left foot. If you cannot touch the bottom of your foot, hold on to any part of the leg. Hip opener on the left side, half heavy baby. One more breath here, and we come to spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh, using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm on shoulder height. Both shoulders are still on the mat, turn it over the left side, your neck is stiff. Stretching out our lower back muscles, creating spaces between L4 and L5, helping people with back pain or any lower back issues. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the thing back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce a few times. 
Then both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Come into a big circular motion if you like. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping people work back pain. And reverse the rotation. Slowly come back to center, lifting the head, chest up, head to knees, squeeze. Make yourself strong. If you can grab all the feet, go ahead. Massage your internal organs. Try not to come up with the neck muscles. Slowly release the head down. Lift your feet up to the sky, coming into a full happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine and entire back. Opening up your joint. Slowly come back to center, bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the feet, draw it close to your body, coming into a reclining cobbler pose, stretching out your joint, in the thighs, arch area, a little bit of discomfort. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Bring the sole of your feet together. Let the knee frog to form a diamond shape. Release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. And down by your side, palm facing down. Chin to chest. Let gravity does its job to open up your joint. Slow down your heart. From here, I'll be guiding you to Shavasana so you can have your legs apart as far as the mat. Let the feet frown naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body, turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips, chin to chest, close your eyes, soften your face, relax your jaw, suffer your teeth. Lower the tent from the roof of your mouth. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety. Focusing on your breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, go a little bit further back to your spine. Stay perfectly calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment.
Let's slowly bring ourselves up by wiggling our fingers and our toes, rotating our ankles and our wrists, gently turning our neck, left and right. Bend both knees. Grab your arms around your knees, rock them side to side. Slowly roll over to the right side. Raise your right arm, making a pillow of the right tricep. Come lie down your side for a moment. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position to face the front. Bring your hands to our center. Taking our three final closing breaths. Inhale, bring the arms forward. Exhale, open up nice and slow, gathering energy for each other. Inhale, your arms up above the head, hands in prayer. Exhale to lower down, sending the energy back to you. Again, inhale, arms forward. Exhale to open. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale, your arms forward. Exhale to open. Feel the tingling and warmth in your arms. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, down. To close the practice, we'll bring the thumb to the third eye or in front of your heart. Thank you very much for watching. Sharing your positive energy with all of us and letting me guide through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.